Welcome back to the Lululemon Maui Pro, our current Jeep rankings leader. Carissa Moore out there in that yellow jersey with a huge opportunity now to set the pace in the world title race. Bit of hustle on the takeoff zone. And the young wild card, Summer Macedo, is up and riding. Great start. Driving off the bottom, up into the pocket once again. Just gets a little caught up there for a moment. Already seen the... Uh, the surfers coming in and causing some damage to the title race. Tyler Wright knocking Lakey Peterson out of contention. We'll see how Summer fares here against a three-time event champion. Paddle battle right here. Summer Macedo, she's the local wild card and she's not giving the champ an inch at the moment. Alex to take off on this ride. Um, yeah, I love to see a heat kick off like this because Summer, this is such a massive opportunity for her. She's a young and they are just heavy implications on this heat. Gnarly. Carissa passed this one up. And Summer's going to swoop on the inside. You can see how much she's going to try and put into the, each of these turns. Clean start, just trying to add some aggression to her manoeuvres. That wave just didn't do much. A smart wave selection choice from the three-time world champion who's going to make her move now. The current world number one. Drives through a big opening swoop, loading up some speed now. Again, goes to the rail, extends that body, draws that turn out and absolutely hammers the oncoming section. Carissa has the power to match the push that the, the bay provides, Rosie. And every time she gets a big oncoming section, she never looks out of control, just can really match it. You know, when you see her take off and all of those things are just lining up for her so perfectly, you can't help but not tear your eyes away from every little thing that she's doing on this way. There's so much intent when she hits that lip, the way that she matches that power, like you mentioned, the speed that she comes at a section with. It's all confidence, it's all in her technique is so flawless. Unbelievable, just tail drops out of that final maneuver. But when you see it in slow motion, you can see why she's got such great control and, and more often than not finishes rides on her feet. And it's so easy to be a fan of hers, massive respect. She can be proud of herself as we see Carissa starting to line up this barrel section. We had a little sneak peek at that. I wanted to see how deep she got. She's Oh, she's used to getting barreled out here. I wouldn't say that that's in her top, um, you know, barrel moments at Honolulu, but it's so impressive just to see her read on this wave and how well she draws her lines. I love the setup work that she does. She eyes the section down the line, disappears there from view. So great to see Chris. One of the first barrels we've seen all day, I'd say. For sure. Yeah, not afraid to, to park it there. You can see what she's dealing with on, on that face. A lot of bumps, riding high for a moment. Definitely found some cover. I love I love the way that she like puts her arm in to slow herself down. She knows when to manage that speed and pull that arm out of the face of the wave so she can accelerate through the sections. Puts it back in for a moment so she can get a little bit deeper. Her caddy in the channel, Micah Nickens, enjoying the view. Love that grab rail that she does. You see the fins exposed there laying that board on the rail my mind then i didn't deserve it but uh but yeah you know i think my surfing has been really good the last especially the last couple weeks over here in hawaii um i mean i prepared as well as i possibly could so at least i took that off the list and and didn't have any doubts in my mind with boards or equipment or preparation um i really really did my best there and, and uh she's definitely gonna be uh i think in the mix again in 2020 rosie as we see carissa more now just sort of running away with this heat at the moment. Has a couple of waves to come through, milking this one right through to the inside. Just very complete in her performance so far. Not wasting scoring opportunity down the line at this stage of the game. 21 minutes remaining here. Fingers crossed it's a, a big show tomorrow. And it goes right down to the wire. Here goes Carissa Moore. Looking sharp at the moment, medium-sized wave. It's going to allow her a little bit more freedom on the rail, just looking so alive on her equipment at the moment. Huge frontside hook there, taking that turn from the top of the wave right down to the trough and looking all the bit like the current world number one. And front runner for the world title. Didn't complete that ride, but expecting that'll be better than the 533. It's a medium-sized wave and just that wave knowledge of of Honolulu Bay is coming into play here with Carissa picking off this gym. You can tell that groomed face 
is just allowing her to get more critical as she goes speeding through these maneuvers, drops down to the bottom, keeps that speed, carries through there, just falls down. You mentioned you don't often see Carissa fall. That, uh, you know, she came undone then. I don't think that's really going to hinder her at all, though, because she did some damage on this wave. Yeah, it's not a big wave riding contest, although set waves can sometimes offer more critical sections, which allow you to do bigger turns. If you find a nice, clean wave, sometimes it's conducive to, you know, obviously a bit more flow, a bit more control with that shorter board, and, and Carissa tore this wave apart, and I think she just looked to, to really shut the, the heat out with that final manoeuvre, moving into the uh, second half of the draw now. Though, and, and there's some exceptional talent to come in the last few heats of the day. Up next, we'll be seeing Malia Manuel, who's finished in second place at this venue the last two seasons. She'll be up against Nikki Van Dyke, who's chasing requalification. And it's another one of our title contenders back out there, Rosie, for heat number seven. Liddy's at probably at an all-time low right now. It is, but uh, the waves are pumping, so we're, we're pretty we'll happy with it. that fact. Yeah, the, sh the snorkel's been packed up for the day. <laughs> You've only got your golf clubs out. Let's get real. So a Macedo there, finishing off a, a right on the inside, but just didn't have that, that buzz that she was looking for. She needs a, a decent number, at least a five to narrow the requirement and give herself at least a decent opportunity going into the, the final few minutes here. Happy they are to see her put in a solid performance, 6.83, 7.6, a comfortable victory here, and she's moving on. When we return, we'll see Malia Manuel take on Nikki Van Dyke here at the Lululemon Maui Pro.